Conferences like this are important really because I think it's imperative that we bring um, professionals together from lots of different disciplines. I mean, this is the largest conference of its kind um, annually in, in Europe now. What's unique about it is that here there are psychiatrists, paediatricians, teachers, psychologists, psychotherapists, special needs coordinators, a whole range of professionals. You've got those different professionals coming with different ideas and different perspectives, and that's sparking off quite a lot of interesting conversations and ideas about what might be able um, to be achieved working together sort of in the future. Well, it's always lovely to meet people who know what they're talking about. And I love the little small print bits underneath, which are all these reports. And what we don't recognise is, is this is the tip of the iceberg. This is where we see them making a presentation. What you don't see are the months of research and going through documents and this metadata and meta-analysis of pulling all these reports together. They also have to pull all their knowledge into a presentable um, form uh, and give us the benefit. So we're getting, in, in shorthand, the benefit of what they've been studying for years. One of the things I really enjoy about our conference is the opportunity to meet with people from different professions. So here today we obviously have a lot of doctors and nurses, we obviously have lots of SENCOs and school leaders and teachers, but we've also got representatives uh, from different ADHD organisations and it's really important that we learn as much as we can from how those different people and those different professionals work with young people with ADHD. What has really struck me about the conference is the range of different professionals that are here. And it's so important to get the interaction between the science and the evidence base and the practice in the field. My real goal for coming here is to try and get the science over to the practitioners in a way they can kind of they can digest and understand and maybe influence their uh, treatment a little bit. We've worked with the ADHD Foundation for a number of years and the profile has grown and I think firstly awareness of ADHD needs to be much higher than it is today but also professionals who are looking to support children and adults with ADHD, they need help so they need education and also they need to come together to share experiences. One of the really good strong features of our conference is how we incorporate uh, the work of other organisations. So it's important that professionals recognise that it's not, it's often it's not just ADHD, but it can also be lots of different conditions as well. I think the ADHD conference is, is vital for uh, not only professionals, but also for parents and other people that are working alongside young people with ADHD and other associated difficulties. Today is so important that you know to, to really have that combination of lived experience as well as kind of academic rigor in the room is is great. Some people think it's quite a straightforward mental health issue, but in fact they can affect people in multiple different ways, and it's helpful to hear uh, people's individual experiences. I'm here today because I'm going to speak about um, ADHD and to kind of like help other parents understand ADHD and how it affects me. Hello, I'm Marcus Wilton and I'm really glad to be here to talk to you today about what's special about me. The takeaway for me is that the Foundation have got things right in terms of connecting social care, education and health. Here we have a national picture, but if locally people can collaborate more, it will benefit children and adults with ADHD. So I'm not an ADHD specialist, I'm a TND specialist. I'm just being inspired by uh, the great work that they are doing, bringing awareness uh, to ADHD. I actually learned quite a lot of stuff because after my talk, I got some really great questions from people. And the thing I've just talked about is the role, potential role of infant massage, which I'd never thought about in terms of improving the relationship within families that have got ADHD. I think it's really important in terms of being able to get together sort of multi-agency professionals nationally to think about ADHD. I think what I learned from the conference is a, a, a great deal about the kind of commitments out there. I think the strength in numbers helps you know people understand that they're not alone uh, with the difficulties that they've got and I think it really gives them that kind of boost that they need. There's been so many inspiring talks and so many inspiring presenters, but all of them actually have contributed something in their own way and I think every delegate that's been here is going to go away knowing that there's something very specific 
uh, and of interest to them and I think it's the strength of that multidisciplinary approach. A piece of advice somebody gave me, I said, how did you cope with your daughter? And he said, we just loved her. And I think that was my over, overriding message was, if we, are, have, if we have a child or adult with ADHD in the family, give them that unqualified, limitless love and support. Um, and that will make such a difference.